Hello everybody, look at what I got in the mail today. It's always exciting when you get the box with the Lego logo on it. So let's look at what's inside this box. I cut the two uh, pieces of uh, tape in the front and uh, let's look at what's inside the box. Wow, this is the uh, Apollo Saturn V rocket. So let's take this box outside to have a look. This is a big and uh, heavy box. So let's have a look at uh, some areas uh, on the box. First of all, in the upper left corner, we can see 14 plus and 1,969 pieces. There's a nice uh, picture of the lamb. And on the side, we have specs for the, uh, the rocket, uh, which is about 40 inches tall or 100 centimeters, 7 inches wide at the base or about 18 centimeters. And you have here the specs for the, the lamb and the, uh, and the capsule. And you have three mini figurines, but they're in fact uh, micro figurines. They're much smaller than your typical Lego mini figurine. And if we look at the, uh, on the other side of the box, they show the full cycle from uh, launch of the stage uh, one, two and three, uh, all the way to the moon, landing on the moon and recovery of the capsule on the ocean. And they show here on the side, uh, stage one, stage two, stage three, the uh, the LEM, the service module at the top, and the command module. So this is kind of a uh, historical set, and that's why I bought it. This will be uh, amazing in, uh, in my office as a display uh, model. So uh, let's uh, open the box and uh, see what's inside. Okay, so I cut the two pieces of uh, tape here at the bottom and now let's uh, see what's inside this big box. Oh, there is a lot of things here. Okay, so we have a, uh, an inner compartment as you can see here. So it's the first time I see this in a uh, Lego uh, set. And uh, we have the manual right here. So let's uh, open this uh, bag. Wow, this is a very nice manual. It looks like a uh, like a uh, like a school uh, like an academic uh, book uh, basically and uh, inside there is uh, the beginning here information about the um, the actual uh, rocket here and um, and more pictures over here here they show uh, the whole mission like journey journey to the moon as you can see and they show the whole mission. Um, this is uh, very, very interesting. And then uh, more information here uh, in uh, this one in French. And uh, here in French and about the designers and also in Spanish. And finally we get to the build and this goes all the way to page, let me see here page 195 so this looks like a very interesting build the book is also in good condition so I'm happy about that because I'm a uh, I'm a collector I haven't seen uh, a sheet of, uh, of stickers there must be one somewhere like any uh, typical Lego set and unlike the uh, Technique uh, sets, like the one I have reviewed on my channel, the bags are numbered, so much easier to build. So I have bag number 12, I have 1, 5, 
eight. I think I think twelve is the highest uh, number. Seven, three, four, eleven, nine, and two. Yeah, twelve is the highest number. Uh, there must be a, a sticker a sheet somewhere. I don't see one, unless the pieces are um, are uh, stamped, which I'm not sure. You can see here. You can see there are some uh, USA and American flags. So uh, I'll uh, keep uh, looking, but I see one here, right here. So you see states. So it looks like the pieces are stamped and that there is no stickers in this set, which would be uh, amazing. So I'm just trying here. Oh, look at this here, American flag. So yeah, it looks like there is no uh, sticker sheet in this set, which I prefer. Like this is amazing to have a printed uh, um, bricks uh, like this. So I'm going to start building this, uh, this set. It looks very, very exciting. And I'm going to do a time-lapse video at uh, the same time. So um, I'll see you in a few uh, seconds, which is for me in a few hours. We are now at 25% of the build, as you can see in the manual here. We're at page uh, 70, and uh, since the beginning, we've been uh, working on uh, stage one of the rocket. So as you can see here, I must say I'm very impressed with this uh, build uh, so far. And this is huge. You can see here, look at my hands and the size of this thing. So this is only stage one. The, uh, the rockets will fit here in the back. Uh, we have here uh, where stage two will attach at the uh, top. Uh, yeah, very, very nice uh, build so far. So uh, I'll see you uh, again at 50% uh, of the build. We are now at 50% uh, of the build, as we can see here. We're at page uh, 111. And uh, at this point in the build, we have completed stage one. So you can see here the details of the uh, engines at the bottom. Very, very nice. The uh, fuselage is uh, all uh, completed also. And the top of stage one is also complete to receive stage uh, two. Also, at this point in the build, stage uh, two just uh, got started. You can see here, we only have a, a skeleton of uh, stage uh, two at uh, this point. So uh, I'll keep uh, building and I'll see you again at 75% uh, of the build. We have now completed 75% of the build. As we can see in the manual here, we're at page 152. So basically, the third part of the build was all about stage two. So you can see the fuselage is all completed, and that looks great, actually. We have the uh, engines completed also here at the bottom, and uh, the attachments here for stage three is all complete at the top. So. Obviously, in the last part of the build, we will do stage three, the service module, the command module, the LAM, and the escape tower. So that's coming up, so let's get to it. This is it, everyone. We completed the build, and this was amazing, highly recommended. What we see right now on the table is the last 25% of the build. So we have here stage three of the rocket, with its uh, single engine and the brackets to attach to uh, stage two. Very nice uh, details on the fuselage again. And uh, here there is a brick to attach the LEM if you want to fit the LEM in the rocket because it does fit and it fits right here in the, in the shroud. So the shroud, of course, is to protect the LEM from dynamic pressure and aerodynamic uh, heating when the rocket um, uh, is launched in the atmosphere. So the lamp fits uh, right here. This is the service module. This is the command module. And this is the escape tower 
or the exact term for this is the uh, launch escape uh, system. We have also a second capsule or command module and if you notice it is darker so the one here of course is at the launch and this one is when the um, the capsule uh, splashes in the ocean so it gets darker of course because it, it burns in the atmosphere and again a nice uh, printed brick here and we have the lem on the moon surface with our two friends uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz uh, Aldrin and again a nice uh, printed uh, brick here on the uh, on the lem and the third astronaut was uh, Michael uh, Collins and he was the pilot of the command module so he was orbiting the moon as these guys were playing on the moon surface for almost a, a full day so let's uh, compare the size uh, now so this was our stage uh, two so you can see here the size of this big piece and this was our stage one and you can see the size here so I'm going to uh, attach them together and put on a black uh, background but before I do so I just want to make a final comment and I'm being uh, picky right now and it's just like a negative comment I wish those bricks here you can see at this angle I wish they were rounded to fit the shape of the fuselage and it's the same with stage 2 as you can see at this angle you can see here that the bricks here do not follow the curve of the fuselage but again I'm being very picky this set is uh, simply amazing so I'll put everything together on the black uh, background I put the rocket on its uh, stand but it's too long to fit in the field of view of the camera it's a uh, 40 inches long or a one meter and I put a ruler here to show the dimension the ruler is 12 inches or 30 centimeters so I'm just going to pan here to show from the back of the rocket all the way to the front so it is a very long uh, kit as you can see so thank you everyone for uh, watching if you have any questions as always put them down below and I'll be very happy to uh, get back to you as soon as I can so thank you for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.